Good morning lovelies. Welcome to the jungle. Two weeks ago I did my first greenhouse video uh, and I thought I'd just update you because it's just completely gone wild. It's the 28th of July I think so we're nearly um, at the end of July now in full midsummer and yeah I'm just going to give you a quick peek. So I, I've added some more things and I've planted some seeds in the beds as I'll show you. I'm going to spin you around but I've no idea what I put in. I know I put carrots and I've got a feeling I put some coriander in and maybe parsley but I can't remember. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I did put those three but things are coming up and there's loads of tomatoes. I'm going to spin you around and let you see the jungle. So here it is. So at the front here, I've got two trays that I've just popped in here. Um, they're deep, deep trays, just in case time gets away from me um, and I don't have time to put them out quickly. Uh, I don't want them to die off because these are my autumn winter veg. So I've got uh, purple sprouting broccoli, one line here, three rows of um, cabbage, what is it? Often them two, uh, and three rows of Autumn King. And then I've got three rows of Romanesco over there. And what's this? Oh yeah, and then four rows of Calabrese. Um, so I did those yesterday. So there's some uh, to get in. Bits cropping up here. I'm pretty sure they are uh, carrots, but like I said, I can't remember. That, that isn't a carrot, so I'm not sure exactly what I have put in here. Um, so it'd be a nice surprise. <laughs> there you go. Right, these, so two weeks ago, I've put those um, beans in and they're starting to climb now. So I've put a whole row, I don't know if you can see the jungle here. I've put a whole row all the way along there. I can't remember now whether I had these beds when I filmed this or not. Um, but I built these, this into a U-shape and filled it with some compost. These are black truffle. You can see how tall they are now. So they're nearly half the height of the greenhouse. Um, so I've got three of those along there with the green beans growing behind. These are in pots. So these are my... Um, they're so big it's quite difficult to get close to them so yeah these are pots of Romano peppers and you can just see like we've been eating them green but I'm desperately waiting for them to turn yellow and red but um, you can see how many flowers I've got. Look, look how many flowers I've still got on there. This is my first time um, growing peppers and I'll definitely be growing these again. I mean, look, they're just amazing. They're as big as my hand and there's masses of them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's 12 on this plant alone and this is one that I topped because some I didn't top and some I did and I'm definitely topping forward, going forward. Um, and look how many flowers, I'm not even going to count the flowers, you can see there's masses left. So that's just so productive, it's amazing. Um, and same for the others, so they're still coming off here, see how big they are. Um, yeah at the back right so there is one tomato plant here that is just huge uh it's a bit difficult to get in here but um i've put these in so that i can make use of the space but easily drag them out but i'm not, not going to do that right now so i've got these here tomatoes that are coming in fruit and you can see these have actually started fruiting these are the black truffle 
there is fruit over there somewhere <laughs> um let me zoom you in so i've got plenty of flowers on there look how monstrous this courgette is it's amazing so i've got yellow courgette i've taken off about five um a couple of days ago and i made i don't know if you I hope you can see me there i made um a, well last night I made a courgette curry unbelievable I used just one or two yellow courgettes but I used the stem and the leaf as well um, and it's so crunchy it does cook but it stays the stem stays crunchy and it's so so good um, and the, the leaves are really tasty as well they're just mild and they just add like that extra nutrition to the meal so you can uh, i just thought it was incredible you could use the leaf the stem and the courgette in one meal um and it was so tasty and i added uh, it with bulgur wheat and it was just gorgeous so yeah don't let anything go to waste so i, I need to prune i just haven't had the time i'm just making a quick video why everyone's happy um look how many flowers this is the lady finger aubergine again i need to get in here and um prune this i just realized that i was on uh zoomed in so i'm gonna be interested <laughs> to see what this looks like when i uh check it so i'm sorry about that close up of my face but um There you go. There's a lady finger there. I've had to come in with a toothbrush um, and pollinate all these. Still got carrots down here. Uh, I popped in some celery, so they're starting to take off now. Lots of little seedlings coming up. Again, can't remember for the life of me. I know I have got carrots and I'm pretty sure these are carrots. And I'm sure I must have put herbs in, but I can't remember. That one over there, maybe that could be a cabbage because I'm I was uh, I'm all about the um, autumn winter at the moment, so I probably did put cabbage, uh, put cabbage like the odd cabbage seed or something down there so that I can get grown for winter as well. Um, these are the same as the other side just planted a bit later so you can see them coming on um the black truffle tomatoes and i decided in here i'm gonna add some carrots just a few carrots dotted in because i realized actually this is wasted space i've just left this wasted um so i'll just put a couple in because these will soon be over um so i'm planning to do that yeah So just a very quick update on the greenhouse and it's just like so exciting. <laughs> it's amazing having all this fresh food um, available. And even when the courgettes, you know, haven't got big enough yet, I, I know now that I can just use the stem. There's an amazing recipe for um, courgette stem, stem penne. And I'll put that, that's another YouTuber has put um, that recipe online and I thought it was great. So I'm going to try it and I'll, I'll put it in the comments so you can look it up um but here we are that's everything <laughs> happy gardening everyone